So sometimes when we're working with these um, conic sections, the equation doesn't come to us in this convenient Cartesian graphing form. Sometimes they come in some form like this. So let's uh, let's deal with this thing. Um, I want to get these into that form where it's like x minus h squared over a squared, and then plus or minus, depending on if it's hyperbola or a uh, or an ellipse, y minus k squared over b squared equals one. Like that's where I want to get it to. So uh, I'm going to complete the square on these and go my way. So first thing I'm going to do is throw my x's together. So I'm going to write this as 9x squared minus 18x. Throw my y's together. Uh, plus 16y squared plus 128y equals negative 121. Uh, then from here, what I will do is just in these first two terms, I'm going to factor out a 9. And I'm setting it up so I can complete the square. We talked a lot about this in class. Um, here I'm going to divide out just the 16. So plus 16. And let's see, 128 divided by 16 is 8. So now... Uh, let me keep going from here. So I'm going to complete the square here. So half of negative 2 is negative 1. And negative 1 squared is 1. Now I added this 1 to this side, but notice it's, it's multiplied by a 9. So it's really worth 9. So if I added 9 over here, I'm going to have to not add 9 over here as well to balance it out. And if I complete the square just in here, half of 8 is 4. 4 squared is 16. And now notice that I, I added a 16 in there, but it is, uh, it's times 16, its actual value. So this is actually 256. So I'm going to have to add 256 to this side to balance it out as well. Now as I go from here, um, notice I have 9 times x minus 1 squared, right? This right here, I can write as that square. This right here I can write as y plus 4 squared equals, and then this over here, I'm just going to do a little bit of arithmetic and uh, balance that out, add all those things together, get 144. So I'm closer to this form. I have x minus h squared, h is 1, y minus k squared, uh, k is negative 4, but I want it equal to 1. So I'm going to divide both sides by 144 now. And 9 divided by 144, that leaves me a 16 down in the denominator. I don't know where that 12 just came from. Plus, 16 divided by 144, that's going to leave me a 9 down there. If I reduce that 16 over 144, equals 1. And there is uh, that ellipse. I could sketch a graph of it now, find the uh, eccentricity, find the foci, all that. All right, so similarly, I'm going to do that over here. But I notice this, I notice this has an x squared, a negative x squared, and a positive y squared. Uh, this is probably going to be a hyperbola since they're opposite signs. So let me deal with it. Let me get those y's together. Negative 25x squared minus 150x. Get these x's together. Plus 144y squared minus 1440y equals 225. So here in these first two terms, I'm going to factor out a negative 25. So be really careful with your signs here. If I factor out a negative 25, this is going to end up being positive, And uh, it should be a 6x. And then here, if I, I factor out the 144, that should leave me with a, a minus, sorry, 10y. Great. And so then now notice all that I did there was I did, the, did those uh, divisions so that I could get uh, leading coefficients of 1 here and here. All right, let's keep going from here. So now I'm going to complete the square in here. Half of 6 is 3. If I square 3, it's a 9. So I'm, I'm adding that 9 here. But notice it's, it's multiplied by the negative 25, and that would give me a negative... 225. So I'm going to have to balance that out over here. Half of negative 10 is negative 5. I square that as a 25. 
and notice I get uh, 144 times 25, which is uh, 3,600. So what I've added here is a 3,000, yeah, let me get rid of that, 600. I'm gonna add that over here. Great, so then now I have a negative 25. This factors to x plus three, and that thing is squared plus 144, this thing factors to a y minus 5 squared. 225 minus 225 is 0, so that leaves me a 3,600. And I'm getting closer, but I want it to be equal to 1, so I'm going to divide everything by 3,600. Uh, negative 25 over 3,600 leaves me a negative 144. Or I could write this as just minus that whole thing. Uh, plus 144 divided by 3600 leaves me a 25 down there. So I could leave it like this. If I really wanted to get into the form where we're used to seeing it, I could write it as this minus that. And there it is.